Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a lip product declutter um, and I'm gonna turn my camera around so you can see everything. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you for watching. If I sound weird, it's because I have a cold or something going on. It's not COVID or anything. It's just like, like a little cold. Um, so yeah that's why i'm i will be sniffling um maybe sneezing so yeah um but that's all also sorry i like i said i feel like crap so i didn't feel like putting on any makeup or anything so with all that out of the way let's get into this declutter so today i wanted to do a declutter of all of my lip products and this is all of them this does not include um what is it like chapsticks and stuff like that this is all like glosses and like colored balms and stuff not like just my regular chapsticks so i have them all laid out let me count and see how many i have So I have 34 lip products um, and I'm just kind of, I kind of have them organized by like gloss and more like lipsticks and my liners and stuff, but I'm going to go through them all and declutter what I don't use and then the rest I will show you all what I keep at the end. So I guess I'll start down here. So. I have these like they change color with your like those pH balance lip things that change color on your skin like I'll use the green one it's like the greens turn pink and all that like it's already turning pink on my skin I went through a phase with these but I don't really use them anymore um, so I'm going to get rid of these and I've had them for a while so I probably shouldn't keep them anyways so I'm going to declutter these um then I have um this like lipstick thing it's not like a lipstick it's not heavy it's really like sheer and um it's really pretty but I just don't gravitate towards it because when I choose a lipstick I like it to be a little bit more matte and this is really shiny as you can see it's kind of like a glossy balm type thing um but this is from wet n wild and it's their jam with me that's probably not gonna focus but it's cute but I just don't wear it enough so I'm gonna get rid of it um these Two things are from Estee Lauder. I just recently got these for my birthday. My boyfriend bought me one and then I bought one. Um, and I really, really enjoy these. Um, this is what they look like. This one, the lighter one, is Cosmic Crystal. And the darker one is Caring Crystal. And they have some like shimmer in them. I don't know if it'll pick it up, but they have some shimmer in them. Um, but they just, they look so beautiful on the lips. I was kind of scared that especially this one wouldn't show up on my lips because my lips are kind of pigmented already. But this one does add just a little tint of color and I love it. And it makes my lips look nice and moisturized and it just feels amazing on my lips um I keep this one kind of like at home on my nightstand like I use it when I'm around the house and I just don't want to feel like a blob so that's why this one isn't as used up as my other one I actually kind of yeah so there's that I keep this one in my purse and like use it as a chapstick and I really 
really enjoy it. It adds a bit more color than this one, but um, it's not, it doesn't look like a full on lipstick. And like, if I had to compare anything in my collection, it would be this, but this still doesn't like give any color at all. It's basically clear. And that's why when I got this, I was kind of scared that it wouldn't show up, but it looks beautiful on your lips. And I'll, I kind of want to get some more, but I don't know. I have a gift card to Ulta and I was thinking about picking up another shade of this and doing a video on like my little collection of them. Um, so if you'd like to see that, let me know. But these um, are just, they're newly released by Estee Lauder. So and I've got them at Ulta and they were about $30 each, but I really enjoy them. So I'm going to keep these. Um, next, I have these two glossy like crown lip balm things. This one's from Clinique. It's what I got instead of Black Honey because they're out of Black Honey and they were still out of Black Honey. Um, so I was actually going to get ask my boyfriend to get me Black Honey instead of these, but they were out. So I just had him get me one of these. But um, the Clinique one I'm going to keep. The Neutrogena one I'm not going to keep. Um, the Clinique one is in the shade is in the shade richer raisin and I really enjoy it um it's kind of like that but not as pigmented and it's not as berry colored I don't like the berry colored on me so much um but I like the richer raisin because it's kind of it's more brown I think in tone so I really like this one and then the Neutrogena one in the shade I don't know what this is soft raspberry i thought i would like it from the looks of it like in the store but then when i got home it like is this really weird mauvey pink color on me that doesn't do anything for me it kind of makes me look like dead but in a bad way so i'm going to be getting rid of this one um next i guess i'm moving on to like my glosses but I have all four of the Jeffree Star, like, I don't know what this collection was. Wait, cremation? I don't, I don't remember, but I bought like the whole collection. I even have the palette um, because it was really down my alley, but I don't need all four of these glosses. Um, and I've swatched them like on myself, like on my lips. And these two colors just don't look right on me. It is the Heaven's Gate gloss and the Funeral Parlor gloss. They look, just look weird on my skin tone. Like they, they just look, they don't do anything for me. So I'm going to be giving these away and I'm going to be keeping the corners kiss it's like this weird gold it has like specks of gold gray based um lip gloss um it's really cool looking on like i don't know how to explain it on but it looks really cool on my lips and then i'm going to be keeping six feet under and this is the black lip gloss and this one is really cool because on my lips it just kind of makes my lips look like a deeper shade of red than what they usually are naturally so i'm going to be keeping these two and getting rid of these two um more glosses i think this is the last thing of gloss that i have I have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine in the shade Pink Mocha. The Fenty Gloss Balm, is that what it's called? In the shade Fussy. Um, the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. And my NYX Blood, Butter, NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Ginger Snap. Um, I think I'm only going to be keeping the NYX um, butter gloss because these I know for a fact these I've had for way too long 
and they probably need to be thrown away. I probably can't even give them to anybody because they're just like year, three years old maybe or something like that and I never use them so I'm going to be giving these away. Um, and this one, I just don't use it. I just prefer the NYX, the NYX one over this one so I will probably give this away to my little sister or something. So yeah. I'm just keeping the NYX gloss. Um, then I have all of my Lancome, the, what is it, Drama Inks that I'm going to be keeping. Um, I kind of want to get one more shade of these and then do a swatch thing, but I don't know if I really want the other shade or not. I don't know. I'm like debating on what to use my Ulta gift card on. So, um, all four of these I'm going to be keeping and I am going to be doing a swatch wear test video on these soon. So, yeah, keeping these. Love them. They're amazing. Next, I have lip liners and I really don't have that many, but the only one that I really use is this one by Bare Minerals. Um, it's in the shade On Point, and it's their Gin Nude All Over Lip Liner. I don't even know if they still have this, but on me, it's like the only pinky, like, nude color that doesn't make me look like I have concealer lips. Like, I don't know. I love it all over my lips. It's amazing. And the tone is just right for me, so I am going to be keeping this. Um, the other ones are, um, this is Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. Oh my god. Um, I have no idea what shade this is. Absolutely no idea. Oh, Rich Chocolate. Rich Chocolate. This is okay. I mean, it's not that I hate the formula or anything. It's just the color. It's like doo-doo brown lips like poo lips caca lips and so i'm just gonna give it away because i actually probably need to throw this away i've had it for a very long time and i just never use it so not keeping this and then my other one i'm probably gonna throw away too because i've had them for way too long um is the essence lip liner in femme fatale um and this one I I didn't really like the formula. It was really hard and I just, I had a hard time like lining my lips with it. So I'm going to be not keeping the Essence one as well. Okay, so next I have um, this Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte liquid lipstick in the shade easy berry that i'm not going to be keeping it just looks weird on my skin like the color is fine in the tube and it's pretty or whatever like that in theory is pretty but on my lips for some reason it doesn't look like that i don't know it doesn't look right on me so i'm not going to be keeping this um i am going to be keeping my jeffree star weirdo black lipstick because sometimes I do just like a black lipstick and this is a great formula. Um, I mean, it dries out my lips, but it's a liquid lipstick. I've never found a liquid lipstick that doesn't dry out my lips, but this one is better than most. So I'm going to be keeping this. Okay, next I have lipstick. Sorry, that's that essence liner. That I'm not keeping. Okay, so next I have, these are all lipsticks, and this is the last, like, kind of leg of my, um, lip products. So I have these two Huda Beauty lipsticks in the shade Gold Digger and Money Maker. I'm going to keep, um, I think it's it's whichever the one is the pinkiest one. It's it's the Money Maker. I'm going to be keeping Money Maker and giving away Gold Digger. 
um there's just something about gold digger i think it's just the undertone it looks like poo lips on me again and i don't really like that look on myself um so i'm going to be giving this away because i just recently got this i think back in october or november so it's kind of sad but like i just didn't think that i should return it because i had put it on my lips so i'm just gonna give it to my mom or something i think that she would like this one um and i'm going to be keeping moneymaker actually moneymaker kind of looks like the same kind of tone that that bare minerals um lip liner is in so that's kind of cool um but anyways yeah keeping moneymaker getting rid of gold digger next i have this like um this is from that line at dollar general um believe beauty and i actually really like this lipstick it's a really pretty like I don't even know like it's just a beautiful dark brown berry -y color it's kind of like if black honey was an actual lipstick like a full-blown lipstick and not just like the lip tint thingy that it is so I'm going to be keeping this next I have Lolita by Kat Von D and this is the Kat Von D brand this is not um whatever the vegan beauty is thing now this was back in the day Kat Von D and I can't get rid of this it's a really pretty color and I also feel like it's just um historical to me like it's it's back it was before that it was like beauty guru days like 2016 so it's old yes I don't really use it but I love the packaging and it's just like one of those things that I'm attached to, I guess, for some reason. So I am going to be keeping this. Next, I have this Lancome um, lipstick, lip bullet thing in the shade Merlot. And I think that it is beautiful, actually. Um, yeah, okay. I thought that the this one and that dollar general brand one was the same color but they're not this one is a bit redder um there's merlot and there's the believe beauty also this one is a little bit more shinier in the finish um so i am gonna be keeping this one so next i have this milani lipstick that i've had forever in the shade teddy bear i'm not going to be keeping it there it is i don't know it comes off weird on my skin something about the color and undertone in here isn't right so i'm going to be giving this away next i have two estee lauder lipsticks um this one i used to keep in my car and it has melted but i it's still usable and I love this color in the summertime. I think it's so fun and it's pink and it looks nice on me. A lot of times I have an awful time finding a pink that looks right on my skin tone for whatever reason, I don't know. But this is one that I've been able to come back to again and again. Um, it is in the shade Culture Clash. And I don't even know if they still have this shade either, but I love wearing it in the spring and summertime, so I'm gonna keep it. This one I'm also going to keep. This is in the shade Raw Edge. Um, and this one is not melted, and I love this shade for in the winter time, in the colder months. Um, I guess I can swatch, swatch it. They are matte, it's a matte finish. Um, they do kind of dry my lips out, but that's okay. Um, I usually just put a chapstick over it and it's fine. It doesn't bother me that much. This one, I don't know if I can swatch. There's that one. I don't know. Something about that pink. It's not like a bright, bright pink, but it's, it looks, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it but it's it's so beautiful on my skin tone and i love it so much so i'm gonna be keeping those the last lipstick is 
a MAC lipstick. It is in the shade Film Noir. Um, and I wish that I could keep this because I love the color. I'll swatch it. Um, it's beautiful. I'm gonna try to wear it again, but I have a problem where it just, like, it peels on my lips and it doesn't want to like just layer at all like one swipe and it's really patchy and then I try to do it again and it just like moves around and stuff on me so I'm gonna keep it for a little bit and try to wear it and see if I can like mess with it and stuff but I don't know if it's gonna stay and if I get rid of it I will let you all know so this is what I ended up keeping I have Keeping 18, and here's all that I'm getting rid of. I'm gonna count this up. Getting rid of 17, keeping 18. So I'm keeping 18 and getting rid of 17. I feel like this number is a lot more manageable for me. Um, and so I'm very proud of myself. I mean, you know, I probably don't even need this many lipsticks, but I just have a problem with, with lipsticks. I love lip products. Lip products are probably my most favorite makeup product because I feel like whether you do your foundation or whatever else, I feel like like you put on a red lipstick and your whole look is changed and i love that so yeah i hope you all liked this video i don't know what i'm going to do next like category wise on decluttering probably foundations but i don't really have like a lot of well i guess i do have a lot of foundations i don't know but that's probably gonna be what I declutter next so if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and let me know if you actually want me to do like a thorough swatch video of like the whole collection now because I will if anyone is interested in seeing that and I'm gonna hop off here um thanks for watching again and I will see you all later bye bye